For millions of athletes, there are only 99 possible numbers to choose from. 99 different numbers, but millions of different meanings and stories. Some are random, some idolize childhood heroes, and some are more personal. Sophomore guard Sam Pryor wears number 34 for the Western Illinois women's basketball team to honor her hero, the one who taught her the game, and the one that gave her life. I definitely think I was one of the luckiest kids like to have like the kind of mom that I did. She's definitely one of like my best friend, like the best person I've ever met in my life. She's probably one of like the goofiest people I've ever met in my life. Lisa Pryor was more than just a mother and a best friend to her daughter Sam. She was a coach, a mentor, and the reason why Sam and many others are playing at the collegiate level today. When Sam was in fourth grade, her mother took it upon herself to start a feeder program for girls to start playing basketball at a younger age. It was just all the girls from Burlington and we would um, all go and we, it was just like a little feeder team and like we had different coaches, like we were the orange team, we were the orange crush and that's how I started playing basketball and that's how all these other girls started playing basketball as well and like seeing Maddie playing at Quincy and Becca playing at Elmhurst and Kayla playing at Olivet, like all of us started because my mom started that program. Lisa played collegiate basketball at Elmhurst College, where she wore number 34, the same number that her daughter would wear during her basketball career. I always wanted to be number 34 in everything I did, and um, in middle school, uh, I remember we were picking out uniforms, and I actually stiffed this one girl because it was supposed to be her turn to go, and like I was like, is number 34 left? She's like, yeah, but I'm gonna get it. I'm like, no, you're not. And like I cut her, and like, and the girl was so mad at the time, but like, I didn't care. And ever since then, I've been number 34. I went in the equipment room in sixth grade, and I pulled like the number 34, and I was like, this is my number. In the spring of 2009, Lisa began to get sick. By July of the same year, she was diagnosed with cancer, multiple myeloma, a cancer of plasma cells that attacks and weakens the bones, immune system, and kidneys. Throughout tough rounds of chemo and treatment, it was Lisa's positive spirit and attitude that never changed. <laughs> when she got really sick and like had to shave her head, like that would bring any girl to tears. You know, like I would cry if I lost my hair, but my mom, I remember, she, we, I think it was Thanksgiving one year, we all sat at the table and my mom brought out Expo Sharpie markers and me and my cousin, she was like drawing my head. And we all like drew like faces and stuff and like like hearts on her head and so like and she had to go back to the hospital. So she'd go to the hospital and I think I drew like eyes on the back of her head and like she'd walk down the hallway and the back of her head would be like, I see you or something. Like it was just like that aspect of her, like like made her like one of like the best people I've ever met, like the best person I've ever met in my life. As her mother's health declined, Sam looked for a different way to honor her mom, other than on a basketball court. Something that was forever, and something that connected the two to the game that they loved. A number. I was like, I want 34 on my wrist. I don't want it big, but like I want it where I'll see it every day. I didn't want it on my shoulder. I wanted to see it. She was off all the medication, and like she realized what it meant, and she thought like it was like the most interesting thing, and she wanted one too, but she couldn't get her like a tattoo because she couldn't have blood drawn because like it wouldn't clot so like I drew it on her with a pen so we could have the same one and like we'd take pictures together with that. Now every time I go in a huddle like I like look at it like this is like what I go up and say ooh rah with like anytime like we bring in a practice like this is the arm that goes up because like so I get to hear. Lisa Pryor lost her seven-year battle with cancer on July 9th, 2016. She was 51. After losing part of her family, it was Sam's future basketball family who would come to support her. Three and a half hours away, Coach Gravina and his team traveled to Elgin to pay their respects to the Pryor family. They all came to the, the memorial service though, like I didn't know them and they all came like and they all like hugged me and Gravina was crying and like I didn't know, I mean like I committed but like I didn't know him. So like, I think just from like that start, like I knew I was in a good place. In her first collegiate season, the women were crowned summer league regular season and tournament champions. Highlighted by a win against a school she had previously committed to, and a game with a halftime score of 34 to 34. 
in which WIU's leading scorer notched 34 points. The first year of college is always tough, and in Sam's case, probably tougher than most. As time has passed, she's grown stronger and has a new outlook on life. And even though it's hard sometimes, she knows that she has the support of her teammates, her family, and most importantly, her biggest fan. I've grown like since that's happened. Um, it's definitely made me like realize like how small like certain things are in life. Like I like pick my battles now. Like I don't let things that used to bother me. Like in high school, I care like what a girl thought of my hair, and like now it just makes me like think like that's like the smallest thing like considering um, what is actually important in life. And like I see like there's more to life than basketball and sports. Like honestly, like like how important like your family is and how you can take it for granted because they're always with you, you know, and they're not always gonna be with you. I never thought about that. I miss her and I hope she's proud of me.